This video is on binomial distribution and the problem is assume that 50% of all the engineering students are good in mathematics. So we have to assume that 50% of all the engineering students are good in mathematics. Determine the probability that among 18 engineering students. So among 18 here n is equal to 18. Exactly 10. At least 10. At most 8. At least 2 and at most 9 are good in mathematics. See, so we have to find out that exactly 10 among 18 engineering students are good in mathematics and at least 10, at most 8, at least 2 and at most 9 are good in mathematics. So first of all, so what is given 50% of all the engineering students are good in mathematics. So here we have to go. This is the solution. See, first of all, P is equal to the probability of the students good in mathematics. P is equal to the probability. Probability of students good in mathematics. So good in mathematics is 50% is equal to 50%. P is equal to the probability of the students good in mathematics. So, P is equal to, this is 50 by 100. So, P is equal to half. The P value is equal to half. As you know that the total probability is always equal to 1. That is, P plus Q is always equal to 1. That is, the probability of the students good in max and probability of the students which are not good in max is equal to 1. So, here P is equal to half. So, that we can calculate the value of q. So, q is equal to, this is 1 minus 1 by 2. q is again equal to half. And see, from the question, determine the probability that among how many engineering students? 18 engineering students. So, here n is given as number of students. n is equal to number of students which are 18. So, n is equal to 8. 18. So, we have P, Q and N with us. Now, we are going to calculate the probabilities that exactly 10 are good in max. So, here what is our P value? P is equal to half. Q is equal to half and N is equal to 18. First, what is the first equation here? Exactly 10. The probability to calculate the students who are exactly 10 which are good, are good in max. That is probability exactly 10. So, here R is equal to 10. Exact 10 means X is equal to 10. So, according to the formula, we have according to the binomial distribution, P of X is equal to R is nothing but NCR. This is P power R. This is Q power N minus R. So, if I substitute, what is N? N is equal to, this is 18 C 10 P. P is equal to half power R 10 and this is Q is equal to half N minus R that is 18 minus 10. So, this will be 18 C 10 half power 10 and this is half power 8. The value here is 18 C 10. So, this is half power 18 and now the students who are exactly good in max 10 students who are exactly good in max is equal to. So, if I calculate this one, so this will be 1.669235. So, NCR is equal to N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial. Or else you can take 18 backward steps divided by 18 front steps. And you can use your calcine. And see, the second question here is at least 10 among 18 students are good in max. At least 10. See here, at least 10. This is a solution 2. At least 10 means probability of mini, minimum 10. So, maximum it is 18. So, that is we have to calculate from um, 10 till 18. That is probability of uh, how I have to write. This is x is equal to 10 till 18. NCR. That is N C R. R means here X we have to take. P power R. 
that is p power r and this is q power n minus r so if i cancel this one so the value here will be x is equal to 10 c 18 that is 18 c x half to the power of if i add up all these minus 6 and plus 6 got cancelled and this will be power 18 and if i keep 10 here so this will be 18 c 10 1 by 2 power 18 and if I keep 11 here that is 18 c 11 half power 18 plus and so on that is 18 c 18 half power 18. So if you use your calci and this is the process and this will be the answer. So what will be the answer? So we can take half power 18 common. So if I take half power 18 common half power 18 common this will be 10c10, 10 18c11, 10, 18c12 plus and so on, 18c18. 18. So, this will be the answer. And the next one here is, what is our third question? At most 8, so maximum 8. So, maximum 8 is nothing but, see the second question is at most 8. The probability of getting at most 8 that is probability of uh, x less than or equal to 8 so this will be sigma x is equal to 0 to 8 maximum 8 that is 18 cr in cr here r is equal to x n minus r so here in this case that is p power r q power n minus r minus x and plus x gets cancelled and this will be 18 again so if i substitute from 0 till 8 this will be the answer that is 18 c 0 this is 18 c 1 18 c 2 plus and so on maximum 18 c 8 into this is 1 by 2 power 18 so this is the answer for at most 8 and next question here is at least 2 and at most 9 see here at least 2 the minimum 2 and maximum 9 so, what is the probability that out of 18 engineering students, we got at least 2 and uh, see here, at least 2 and at most 9 and at most 9. So, which means that probability of 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 9. So, which means that, so we have to add from 2 till 9 that is probability of x is equal to 2 to 9 n c r x p power r q power n minus r so this will be power 18 so from 2 till 9 we have to add so this will be 1 by 2 power 18 so this is 18 c 2 this is 18 c 3 plus and so on this is 18 c maximum number here is 9 so this is the answer for this so, thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. So, this is also so simple if you follow these steps. First of all, we have to find out the value of P and Q. And here, N is given as 18 from the question. And first, we have to find out exactly 10. Exactly 10, the answer here is this. And at least 10. Minimum 10. Maximum 18. So, this is the value. And at most 8. At maximum 8 means 0 till 8. We have to add up. And the next one at least 2 and at most 9 so we have to add from 2 till 9 so this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end